So here's a quick video going over the new features that were added to the Ringmaster unofficial ZBrush plugin for version 1.2. So to start off, I'm just going to simply create a ring base mesh here. And after this is created, I'm going to open up the Gemstones tab. So the 1.2 update has added more functionality to the Gemstones. The main functionality is now you can position your gems onto the band. So if you have this option turned on, when you generate a stone, it's going to generate it on the top of the band that you have here. So to do this really quick, I'm just set the number to one. I'm gonna have the round stone selected, and I'm simply gonna click Add Gemstone. And so as you can see, the gem has been created on the top of the band there. Now if I navigate back up here, you'll see there's a few other options you can change. The first one is the number. This is going to determine how many of these stones are going to be generated around the band. And this is using the array mesh function inside of ZBrush. So if I set this to 16, and then say change this to emerald, and now click add gemstone, you're gonna notice that it's generated 16 of those emerald stones around the band. Now, if you use the on band option, ZBrush is automatically gonna open up the Array Mesh tab here, and here you can come through and change any of the Array Mesh settings to modify how those stones have been applied after you process them. So you can come through and add even more repeats to those stones if needed. Another option has been added, and that is the Custom option here, and this will allow you to insert any Insert Mesh brushes that you have selected onto the band itself, and it'll function the same way as the gems. Just undo this quick here, just delete these other subtools. Just get back to the band. Now I'm gonna come over to the brush palette over here and I'm gonna select the IMM model kit. Now with the IMM model kit selected, I'm just gonna hit M, which is gonna show me all the parts that are inside this brush here. And I'm simply just gonna select one of these insert mesh objects. I'm gonna select this holds five here. I just wanna make sure I have this set to custom over here set the number that I want, and then how I want it aligned, and then simply click Add Gemstone Subtool. So you can see there it's come through and added that Insert Mesh object to the top of the band, and it's repeated it 16 times. Then I come through and say repeat it a little bit more like so. can then even come through and start manipulating this using, say, the transpose lines here. Let's say even rotate. I can start manipulating the shape on the band like so to even get more variation. So you can just come through and start modifying this. And since it is an array, you can now still modify this object on this fly, change the repeats, and just keep doing different things with the rings to get different effects. You can stack different insert meshes as well. So if you just have custom selected, I can now go back to that insert mesh brush, and make sure I'm in draw. Select a new one, say like this one here, and then add that gemstone. It's gonna make a new subtool with that one, and then come through and manipulate that array again, if you so desire, and start getting a different effect like that. Now the alignment options, which I mentioned briefly, are going to control how these stones are going to be aligned to the band. I'm gonna come through and delete these guys again. Just get back to that band there. I'm going to select the round option and I'm going to select it to bottom and one. And you'll see it's going to generate it where the stone bottom is aligned to the band. If I change this to middle and create it now, you'll see that the stone is going to be applied in the middle in relation to the band. And if I select top and add that stone there and turn on transparency, you're going to see that the top of the stone is aligned to the band. So that's how you can change your alignment on your gemstones or even your custom insert mesh brush here. And then simply set your number and click add gemstone. So those are the new features that have been added for the 1.2 update. If you have any questions or run into any bugs, please use the link underneath this video to post on Zebra Central and I'll try to get those bugs or problems sorted out. Hope that helps. Happy ZBrushing.